Hello, I am Big Cheds. I'm coming to you on a Monday, March 28th, 2022. This is part 13 in a 50-part free video series based on my best-selling book, Trading Wisdom, 50 Lessons Every Trader Should Know. When the book first came out, there was a ton of demand for an audio version, for an audible version, you know, something something people could listen to. And um, at that time, I didn't have one. So what I started to do is on my YouTube channel, I have a playlist, Trading Wisdom, 50 Lessons Every Trader Should Know. And I'm doing basically one lesson at a time. I'm going to do the whole book for you for free. Last time we did Lesson 12, Define Your Risk. Uh, today we're doing uh, Lesson 13, Manage Your Stack. That should be a lot of fun. I am, of course, the author. I am found on Twitter, at Big Cheds, Academic Observations About Price. Uh, risk Management Trading Psychology. The book itself is available on Amazon. There's four formats, Kindle, audiobook, hardcover, and paperback. The reviews have been unbelievable, almost five stars. So really appreciate that. Thank you, folks. I really do appreciate that. Um, just to remind you, I have a, before that, I did publish my book, My Battles with Cancer. I'm a, um, a cancer survivor and a caregiver. If you know someone who's dealing with cancer, let me get you this book for free. I'll find a way to get it to you. I'll email it to you. You know, find a way to reach out to me and get me your email. I want to just send you the book. Um, and as a reminder, of course, I am on YouTube at Cheds Trading. Hopefully you're enjoying some of that content. Please do check that out. And if you're interested in really learning how to trade, I'm a founding analyst at Bitcoin Live, the best in-class educational platform for crypto. I've been doing updates there for almost four years, something I'm incredibly proud of. But we're here for the book. Uh, I have the about the author and introduction sections up there for you. I'll let you read that um, on your own time. I'm not going to sport your patience today, but you can check that out. We are here today for Lesson 13, Manage Your Stack. Like I said last time, we did define your risk, um, the, the prior video, and I'll do pick your spots carefully the next one. I'll get the whole book out for you if you're patient enough. And um, so, but thank you for watching. As always, we start out the chapter with a quote. Scale in at support, scale out at resistance, have a tight logical stop loss, and the rest is pure luck. That's how I start out the chapter. Um, really trying to set the table and telling you, you know, you have a good plan, you have a logical stop loss. And to kind of ease into your position rather than doing it all at once. So here we go. Another central concept of risk management is proper bankroll usage. One common practice is to limit each play or trade to a certain percentage of your total portfolio, perhaps 1% to 5%. By doing so, you are not placing too much emphasis on any one trade idea because the consequences can be disastrous. This is especially the case if you are trading volatile markets. In theory, a diversified basket of risky assets would serve you better if you were trading in that type of market. So let's unpack that a little bit. So I've talked about a lot of stuff, uh, risk management in the videos leading up to this and manage your stack. This whole chapter, this whole lesson is about really how much, how much of your funds you apply um, you know, to each trade. So like one common practice is to limit your, your each play to a certain percentage, right? So you really should never have more than 5% uh, in any play. And the reason why is there's so much you cannot control in trading. So the idea is that you want to make skilled decisions, things that you're, that the probabilities favor you. You know, you want to be making those good 60, 70% probability bets, but they can go against you, you know, and the underdog can, can, can win out in that scenario. And even though it's a good idea, you can become unlucky. It cannot work out. And you want to allow yourself enough time to absorb enough funds uh, to absorb that volatility, to absorb that, uh, th those trades not making out, working out. So if you're, you know, if you're coming in and putting 25, 30% of your bankroll in a play, I mean, that's just, it's terribly, terribly risky and terribly irresponsible. So... You know, like, um, you know, like a poker player, like a, a, a tournament poker player, you know, who's playing multi-table tournaments. They'd never put more than like one or two percent of their entire bankroll into the play because, 
you need you need to win one of them, and and, and it takes a long time, and most of the time you're not going to win. So you want to limit yourself, limit your exposure on every play, right? That way you're never going to get taken out by any one play, and that's the whole point, right? And I say it's especially the case if you're trading volatile markets, and that's what we're doing here uh, with crypto, especially. It's incredibly volatile. Um, and you know, you know, Bitcoin right now is, is strong, which is great. Um, but things can change quickly. This, these markets, but the crypto market can, can shift incredibly quickly. So, you know, you want to make sure you keep your bankroll, uh, safe by, by having your position size smaller. As I say here, next, we're moving on, uh, the quote, I coach to all successful traders to cap their trading account at a certain number and transfer those profits out every week or every month. That way you are less tempted to ape up the risk threshold, right? If your bankroll starts at, you know, 10,000 and you've done really well and now it's 20,000, right? I mean, that's amazing, you know? Um, so good job, first of all. But it doesn't mean you now should be twice as risky. It doesn't mean you should be taking twice as many risks. You know, if you're doing well, and, and it's hard to do well. You know, not, you know this, this advice may not be for everyone because a lot of us are struggling. But if you're doing well, you know, take that extra money out, that extra, those funds out and bring it back and put them back in your bank account. You want to cap your trading account, your brokerage account at a certain level because if it starts to get too big, I know this because I've done this many times, you know, and this is why a lot of times like big losses will come after big wins you get overconfident. You forget your risk management uh, strategies that that brought you there. So, really cap your trading account at a certain level. It's a really great way to to minimize the volatility and to prevent yourself from, you know, or rather to to, to not to not encourage yourself to be more risky going forward. So, cap your your trading account at a certain level, and you'll be less tempted to raise that risk threshold, okay? Because remember, trading is about survival, and that's really what all these lessons are boiling down to. You want to have the skills, and you want to survive your mistakes so you can make profit. As I say in the book, managing the connection between your bankroll or trading account and your bank account is incredibly important. If your trading account is too large from a series of wins, Take some of that extra profit and transfer it to your bank account. There are multiple benefits to this strategy. First, taking the money out makes it feel real and it locks up the gains. And second, limiting your trading account size limits your volatility, right? Um, and I talked about this last lesson, the whole idea of like defining your risk. You know, you define your risk by having that smaller trading account size, that will limit your volatility. That will limit how big your bets are. You need to control your risk, right? And I talked about that and define your risk. And that's true here in managing your stack. So you make the, the gains are real. You lock them up. And you're limiting your volatility because you're limiting your account size. As I say in the book, generally speaking, your goals should be humble and your approach to reaching them methodical. You need to be calculating. You need to be methodical. And you need to approach your goals in that manner, right? When your trading account gets too big, you're like, oh, I don't need these rules. I'm great. I'm invincible. I'm, you know, I'm the best trader in the world. And then, you, you know, you get into trouble, obviously. In the book, start small with the goal of making one 5% winner this week and go from there. If you do not reach that goal, examine your methodology and record it in a trading log and journal for analysis. If you do make your goal, if you are successful, perhaps move your target up to 7% or try to make two 5% winners that following week. The point I'm making is you want to have small goals and when you reach them, okay, improve your goal a little bit, raise it up, right? Don't start out trying to, 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 to hit a 10 bagger or, or even like make a 40, 50% gain. It's incredibly ambitious. Start out with a small goal, conquer that goal, build up your confidence, improve your craft. As I say in the book, take an incremental approach and slowly adjust your goals as you go along, tweaking here and there as you learn what works and what does not work. 
rather than trying to grow your account from $5,000 to $50,000 overnight, approach trading with more modest goals that you expect to make in pursuit of your goals. Sorry, pardon me. Approach trading with more modest goals based on your experience, right? And factoring in the mistakes you expect to make in pursuit of your goals. So, you know, especially if you're a new trader, don't let the talk of other people uh, get in. Don't let those words whispering in your ear, don't let them affect you. Don't let those folks telling you that it's easy and all your friends, friends flashing big gains. Don't let them convince you that you can just do it like that, right? You need to understand what your skill level is. You need to have modest goals based on your experience and you need to factor in the fact that you're going to make mistakes, right? Which is why you have smaller position size. We talked about that. Remember to pay attention to each step along the way as you are learning, because in the end, that is what will make you a winning trader, right? As you all along the way, all the mistakes you make, that's what's going to protect you and help you preserve your gains going forward. I finish up the chapter or the lesson with a quote. One decent trade can make up for 10 failed trades if you properly manage your stop losses. You don't need home runs in this game. Singles, stolen bases, and sack flies are good enough, right? Sacrifice flies from, you know, baseball. And that's point. That's the point, right? Lesson 13, managing your stack. You need to have a more humble approach. You need to be methodical. You need to limit your, your, your position size. And you need to take profit along the way. And then you'll do fine, hopefully. And that's what it's all about. That is lesson 13. Trading Wisdom, 50 Lessons Every Trader Should Know. That is part of the free 50-part video series on my YouTube channel, at Ched's Trading. I will have the next uh, lesson out here in another three or four weeks, Lesson 14, uh, which is Pick Your Spots Carefully. This is Lesson 13, Managing Your Stack. I am, of course, on Twitter, at Big Cheds. I am the author of Trading Wisdom, 50 Lessons Every Trader Should Know. I really appreciate all of your support. Uh, if you'd like to buy the book, there are four formats, Kindle, audiobook, hardcover, and paperback. Um, just as a reminder, I'm a cancer survivor and I was a caregiver as well. If you know someone who's suffering through cancer, I'd love to get my memoir out to you for free. I'm not trying to sell this. I'm not trying to push it. I, I would like to get you that book. So please do um, reach out to me and I will find a way to get it to you. So once again, I really want to say thank you. It's been a pleasure um, to do this video. I, I hope everyone is doing well out there and I will talk to you soon. Big Cheds out.